In this video, you'll learn how to make better chord progressions using a pedal note, anticipations, and more. But first, Harmony, I'm Kate Harmony, this is Ray Harmony, and welcome to the Hack Music Theory Show. Where you are empowered with notation-free theory for making great music. Today we're bringing you more of our top music theory hacks that we use to write the bridge section of our upcoming single, Mile Zero. Yeah, and if you enjoy this video, then you can check out our new one-of-a-kind online apprenticeship, which captured every second of the songwriting process for Mile Zero while teaching all the theory along the way. So, if you want to learn how to write new sections for existing sections, how to transition between sections, and all the other vital music theory hacks you need to write great songs and finish them, then do our cutting edge apprenticeship course at revolutionharmony.com slash apprenticeship. It's out January 31st, and remember if you pre-order before then, you get a 50% discount. All right, so our bass line is done, our drum beat is done, now it's time to add chords. Just in case you missed the videos on how we wrote the bass line and the drum beat though, be sure to check them out in our Mile Zero playlist. So what you see on the screen right now are the root notes upon which we are gonna build our chords that are gonna form our chord progression. We actually chose these back at the beginning of the process when we were writing the bass line. And just a reminder, we're in E flat Aeolian, AKA the natural minor scale, and the root notes are E flat, D flat, A flat, and C flat. C flat? You're wondering why I called a B a C flat? Then you need to read hack seven in my free book, 12 Music Theory Hacks to Learn Scales and Chords, which you can download right now for free at the link below. By the way, these root notes are all muted. They're not gonna be part of the chord progression. They're just there as a template. All right, let's jump in. Hack one, pedal root. A super easy and effective way to make your chord progression flow like a pro is to link all your chords using a pedal note. A pedal note is a note that you keep playing while the chords change. It's usually the root note of your scale, and it's usually played under the chords. Yeah, so while we did decide to use the root of the scale as our pedal note, we actually chose to play it above the chords. So all the way on top over here, the cool thing about doing that is that it draws the ear up to this beautiful high note while the chords change underneath. And then at the very end here, we just went down to a flat seven as variation and then back up to the one. Heck two, triads and inversions. Next, you want to fill in the harmony by using triads. Yeah, and just in case you're new to chords, a triad is a three note chord. It's the simplest kind of chord and it's the most common in every popular music genre. You get a triad by playing whatever note you want to start from. E flat in this case for our first chord. And then you just skip the next note in the scale, which will be F, and then you play the next one. G flat, skip the next one and play the next one. And there you go, try it. And then you just do the same thing from the other root notes you've chosen for your chord progression. So the next one is D flat, so we just start on D flat, and then skip one, play the next one, which gives us F, skip one, play the next one, gives us A flat. Then our next root note is A flat, so we just start on A flat, and then skip one, play the next one, C flat, skip one, play the next one, we get E flat. And then last one, we've got C flat, so we just start on C flat, skip one, play the next one, which is E flat, and then skip another one, play the next one, G flat. So the chords are E flat minor, D flat major, A flat minor, and C flat major. And by the way, if you want more help writing better chord progressions, you can check out our songwriting and producing PDF. The link is below. Next up, inversions. So just scan through the chord progression and any chords that have common notes. So a common note like this one here is just the same note in two different chords. What you wanna do is get that common note in the same place within those chords. So you can see over here, it's in the middle of this chord and it's at the bottom of this chord. So by lifting this A flat up an octave, we suddenly have that common note in the same place. Now it's at the bottom of both of those chords and you'll notice that we've got that A flat, the common note between the chord before is now at the top of both of those chords. And because we have rearranged the order of the notes in that A flat minor chord, we call it an inversion. And we use inversions to get those common notes in the same place so when the chords change, they just melt into each other. It's super smooth and it flows like a pro. 
Then lastly, don't forget about that sneaky hidden chord change you get when your last chord loops back around to your first chord. So if you've got a commono between those two chords, make sure it's in the same place within those chords as they change, and that way you get another super smooth chord change. And not only do we have one common note, we've actually got two. We've got the E flat and the G flat. So all we need to do to get them in the same place is slice up this uh, C flat at the bottom here and move that guy an octave higher. And now we've got the E flat and G flat at the bottom and the middle of the last chord and it loops around to being at the bottom and the middle of the first chord. All right, let's have a listen. Hack three, susses and anticipations. Wherever you have triads with adjacent roots, like we have here from E flat minor to D flat major, you won't have a common note. So how do you make these chords flow? Easy, a sus chord. And a sus chord is what you get when you take a triad and suspend the middle note, in other words, a third note, by moving it either up to the four, which gives you a sus four, or down to the two, which gives you a sus two. So we decided to use a sus2 to make these chords flow smoothly into each other. The way to do that is to just uh, slice the first chord and then this middle note here, the third, we're gonna move it down to a second and now you can see we've got a common note and it's in the same place. So listen to this. This chord change is now super smooth, but to make it even better, we added an anticipation. An anticipation is when you anticipate a note in the next chord by playing it just before that chord comes in. Yeah, so we decided to anticipate the root of the next chord, that D flat, and we did this by just shortening the root of the chord before, that E flat, and then going down to the D flat just an eighth note early. But that tiny change makes a huge difference because as you can see now, that chord change is so melty. The one chord just melts and steps down into the other chord. Check this out. Hack four, melodic motifs. The best way that you can make your chord progression stick in people's heads is to use a melodic motif. A motif is a short musical idea that you can repeat to give your music structure, and that makes it memorable. Exactly. And just before we go on, I know you're thinking, what does a melody have to do with chord progressions? Everything! Because all great chord progressions have melodies hiding within them. That's what makes them great. And by now, I guarantee you, you've got a melodic motif in your chord progression already. All you need to do is find it and then reuse it. And what we've got here is the stepping down motion where we're going from one note down to the next note in the scale. You can see it here. We did that with the anticipation. You can see it here where we've, we use that sus. You can see it again here and again there. And it's all over the place. So we just need to make the most of it. And that's what it's all about. Find the motif make the most of it. So this note down here, which is the lowest note of the chord, is actually not the root, remember, because we inverted it, so the root's up top. So this note at the bottom is actually the middle note of the chord, which means we can use the sus hack again. So we're gonna move that middle note up to the fourth, and we're gonna get a sus four briefly before it resolves. And now we've got that stepping motion down as the chord changes. And then finally into the last chord, we wanna use that stepping down motif again, obviously, but this time the lowest note of those two chords is the same, which means we can't really step down from the same note to the same note, which means we need to look elsewhere in the chord for a place to use that stepping down motif. And we're already using it on the top, which means we need to use it in the middle. And the middle note is the third note, which means we can suspend it. So we can use that sus hack by chopping up the third note there, and we're gonna move the middle one down to a two, but we have to go back up to the three, because remember, that's our common note with the first chord. Hack five, join notes. Finally, to crank up the flow to the max, go through your chord progression and join the notes that are on the same pitch. Yeah, so this hack shines a big old spotlight on those hidden melodies within your chord progressions because by joining the notes on the same pitch, what you're actually doing is disguising those chord changes. And once those are being disguised, what happens is your ear is drawn into the melodic movement 
of the notes as opposed to hearing these kind of block chords where all the notes change at the same time. Mm -hmm. So really, really powerful hack uh, and super simple. Don't forget the last chord around the first chord again because you've got common notes there, so you want to join them. Um, the only way to do that is to get out of that uh, view and copy and uh, paste and then glue, open them up, and then you want to go in and join up these two common notes we had over there. And we're done. In our next video, you'll learn the music theory hacks we use to write a lead melody to this chord progression. So be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. Thanks for watching and happy songwriting and producing.